The summer of 2017 will go down as a breakthrough period for Shane Strickland. July the 8th, Voorhees, New Jersey, CZW Evolution. The Defy and CZW Championships on the line in a fatal four-way involving the Chainsaw Joe Gacy, a multi-time champion at CZW. Strickland, who just weeks before lost to Davey Richards in the finals of the 8X Grand Prix at Defy 5. Leo Rush and the double champion, Davey Richards. After months of building momentum and coming up short in his quest to become the first ever Defy champion, Strickland was focused and needed to be. Gacy, Rush, and Richards left nothing behind. But in the end, a devastating swerve stop finally put Rush down for the count, and Strickland left New Jersey a triple champion, adding the Defy and CZW titles to the Wrestle Circus Ringmaster Championship, which he captured a few weeks before in Austin, Texas. The summer of swerve officially in full swing. Next at Defy 6 in Tacoma, Washington. Strickland defending against Leo Rush, two friends whose careers have paralleled each other. But with the Defy title up for grabs, once the bell rang, all of that went out the window. An absolutely incredible back and forth match that rivaled their Defy 2 encounter. A swerve stop to the outside, a swerve stop on the inside. Leo Rush with the frog splash. Strickland successful in his adopted hometown of Tacoma. And the summer swerve wasn't done yet. We head back to the East Coast. Battle Club Pro in Brooklyn, New York, a successful title defense against 8X Grand Prix semifinalist Matt Cross. Then to Gainesville, Florida. Fest Wrestling, Martin Stone. Matt Cross challenging Strickland for the Defy Championship in a triple threat matchup. Strickland with the swerve stop from the top and an impressive victory in Gator Country. And right now, Strickland set to face one of his toughest challengers yet, the King of Pros, Matt Riddle. Does the summer of swerve come to an end tonight here in Seattle? Strickland has held the Defy Championship for 83 days, but just about a month ago, Riddle defeated Strickland in a non-title matchup in Chicago at AAW. How much is that gonna rattle the confidence or the swerve of the Defy Champion heading into this one? and hasn't looked back since turning pro as a wrestler. It's been called a mix of some of the greats like Rob Van Dam, Kerry Von Erich, Jack Briscoe. You can tell he's got a laid back personality until the match starts. But once he gets going, he can twist you and turn you in ways that you're not meant to be.
done it with confidence, has done it with swerve, has done it with a little bit of attitude, and most importantly, has done it with heart. And has shown a will to compete like few others. Strickland proudly wearing the Defy Championship around his waist. The current Triple Champion. The CCW and Wrestle Circus titles bolstered to his side. What a main event this is going to be. On an incredible night here in Seattle. Earlier on, we saw Jeff Cobb and John Morrison battle in, a, in an epic encounter. Taya Valkyrie winning that triple threat matchup. Over Christina Von Erie and Nicole Matthews. How about the return of the American Guns? They have not lost a step. And we are ready to go. Our main event, the Defy Championship on the line here tonight at Kings Among Men. The King of Bros, Matt Riddle, challenging the King of Swerve, Shane Strickland. The Defy Championship held up high for all to see. That's what's at stake in this matchup. Make sure you check out the next Migs versus the World of Wrestling podcast. You can find it at KISW.com or any podcast provider. Matt Riddle, Shane Strickland, appearing on the very next episode. In Migs versus the World, KISW.com or your favorite podcast provider.
suplex. And another. The amazing strength that that takes. And you look at Matt Riddle, you say, you know what, he, he's not a huge guy. like that. Riddle 6'1", about 190 pounds or so. Another running forearm smash. Exploder suplex out of the corner. Tremendous technique. And Strickland crashed down violently. Not a whole lot behind those leg strikes. And Strickland is so wobbly. That's all he had in him. And all that really does is just open the door for Riddle to say, all right, you want to try to play my game? I'll show you something about close striking. Strickland, able to catch uh, Riddle on that kick attempt. And Riddle, beautiful go behind into a German suplex. Riddle is just so lightning quick. Another running set on. And Strickland, all very smart. Roll to the outside and catch your breath. Riddle's getting him wound up. Oh! Well, perhaps just as effective. And less damaging to one's own well-being. Strickland can't even stay on his feet. The referee continues to count. He's really gonna get out there. Oh, check out Strickland. Strickland delivered a hit, but that might, have, that might have been more damaging to himself than anything. You hear the count, and Riddle rolls in to break the count. The title won't change hands on a disqualification or a count out, so Riddle's gonna make sure that he does whatever he can to get back in the ring to break the count. But the thing right now, is Strickland even able to continue? Somebody's gonna get down there and check on him. Now Riddle, giving it to one of the fans here. Oh, that's the opening Strickland needed. That's all she needed. Riddle with a fuse, and Strickland is exploding with chops and stops into the first row of seats. Strickland rolls under the bottom rope. And breaks the count, gives Strickland a chance to, to maybe shake off some of the effects from the early portions of this matchup, but, oh no, it opened the door for Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle just needed that extra second, and he runs Strickland into the side of the ring. Multiple kicks to the chest. And now Riddle, looking under the ring for who knows what. The official being very, very generous with the count again. Riddle. Again, rolls under the rope, breaks the count. He wants to inflict damage 
And punishment on Strickland. Oh! Strickland was able to get back to his feet. Slingshot, springboard, stop! Strickland's left leg may have buckled. The official over to check on Matt Riddle to make sure he's all right to continue. Back over to check on Swerve to make sure he's all right. But I'm going to be curious to see how that left knee withstands the rest of this matchup. Running to the cover. Let's see if it's bothering him. Strickland appears to be favoring his sternum and his chest more than anything. And now Strickland has been, oh! Strickland served in the military. And that's where he learned these types of techniques. He told me he was going to try to, to incorporate this a little bit more in this matchup tonight. Oh! It might have just snapped the forearm of Riddle. Riddle wants to continue. Now Strickland's left knee appears to be fine. Riddle's left arm, however, remains to be seen. Whoa. Strickland right back to the left arm. Hammerlock suplex. Right into the turnbuckles. Strickland back in control, gets a two count on Riddle. Continues to attack the left arm. Strickland applying tons of pressure to the fingers. Bending the wrist back unnaturally. No! Oh, Riddle's in a ton of pain. And he may be thinking about giving up. Live to fight another day. No! Oh! Look at Riddle riding around. Riddle desperately reaching out. He got his foot on the rope. I don't know if the referee saw it. Strickland continues to crank the arm. Riddle could already have torn tendons or uh, dislocated elbow. No! Well, Matt Riddle is still in the ring, and he has not conceded. Shane Strickland. Well, I was going to say he doesn't want to waste any time, but just kind of toying with the injured Riddle. Oh! Pick up your teeth in the balcony. Cover. Riddle kicks out of two, and Strickland goes right back after the left arm. What's Riddle going to be able to do here with, with one arm? Is it going to be too much? Is he going to be forced to, to tap out? Strickland unleashing what seems like months of frustration. And perhaps a little payback after their, uh, after their battle last month in Chicago. Here comes Swerve, rolls through, and countered by Riddle! Short off, scissor submission, locked in tight! Swerve trying to roll out of it! Oh! A punt kick to the left elbow! Running high knee! Riddle with a fisherman buster into a small package. 
Charles is doing whatever he can to try to get some feeling back in his left arm. Another look at the Fisherman Buster. Back in, maybe a quarter of a second away from having us crowning a new champion here tonight at Defy 8. Riddle continuing to battle. Essentially without full use of his left arm. We said it before, he is a striking specialist. And that includes leg strikes. Riddle continuing to lay in the kicks. Oh, Strickland, Strickland tied the sequence. And the look of rage on both competitors' faces. Strickland unleashing rights and lefts. Riddle answers with a series of chops and body blows. Big loop by Strickland. Riddle answers. Strickland answers. match. 
And Strickland seems poised to cash in on the opening that he has. The champion up top. Canadian driver. Riddle's not done. What a kick. Tombstone power driver. One, two, Riddle can't believe it. two warriors that after a battle like that they could shake hands in a sign of respect.
highlight reel match that took a ton out of both competitors. Riddle's gonna have to get his left arm checked out. Strickland took a lot of damage as well. But what a credit to Shane Strickland for being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a former UFC fighter. And you could say in many ways, beat Matt Riddle at his own game. He really did. Strickland saluting all in attendance here tonight, collectively known as the Defiance. So the summer of Swerve rolls on as we head towards the fall. Shane Strickland remains the Defy Heavyweight Champion. successfully defending his championship against Matt Riddle. Well, I, hold on here, we're gonna keep it right here. This has been one hell of a 2017. Not only is this me, like, sort of my birthday for the first time in my hometown since I was born, that has meant more to me than any other promotion I've been wrestling in my last eight years of this business. And I'm glad I'm doing it with you guys. Now, I want to address like, People think my ego is out of check because I post a lot of pictures on Instagram and Twitter with three title belts. I think the first to tell you there's nothing about having an ego, there's nothing wrong with having pride for the promotions that I represent. No matter where I go. I wear a Wrestle Circus Ringmaster title around my waist as a badge of honor. I wear the CCW World Championship around my waist as a badge of honor. And I wear the Defy Championship around my waist as a badge of honor. And no matter where I go in the world, where I go in the world, they all know about Defy Wrestling here in Seattle, Washington. And that's what my purpose is here. That's what my purpose is as champion. Yeah. Not to gloat, not to boast, but to represent and show the world who we are, what we are, and how hard we work. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. I'm gonna fly home tomorrow morning, very early in the morning. I might not get any sleep tonight. And fly all the way to Orlando, Florida, to celebrate my birthday yeah. Yeah. in sunny state. Sorry, it's rainy as hell over here. <laughs> but just know, but just know, when I get home, I take these three, three championships and I put them on my mantle on my wall and honor you guys every single day. So, Swerve thanks you all.
Classy words from the champion as we wrap things up here tonight. We thank you so much for joining us. What a great night of action it's been. My name is Rich Bokini for all of us here at Defy, saying so long from Washington Hall in Seattle.